guys it's Vira and welcome to another vlog two days ago I tried to go to my sewing class but it was a holiday so I ended up not going and today I'm going to go back to my sewing class again and this time it is not a holiday so this is my first time being back I haven't gone to my sewing class throughout 2022 the last time I went was at the end of 2021 it is currently 10 5 a.m. so I should go now actually the class starts at 9 a.m. but you can come any time you want pretty much but for the first session it is from 9 a.m. until 12 p.m. I actually got up early today because I wanted to go to the sewing class as fast as possible but I should not have had a heavy meal. I was actually not that hungry but I ate a heavy meal. I ended up becoming too full and my food was not yet finished so I ate really really slowly so that's why I ended up arriving at my sewing class at 10 a.m. I'm going to go now. Let me just put on my mask first. Okay, let's go. It is currently 2.23 p.m. right now and I'm finally done with my sewing class. I made a skirt and I am also finally done with the skirt. I actually planned on leaving at 12 p.m. so after the first session finished but I was almost done with my skirt and I thought why not just finish it today so that I can make another clothing item next week I decided to stay until the second session now I am gonna go to Ikea I think um, I don't know I really want to go to Ikea but going to Ikea alone is kind of intimidating because I have never gone to Ikea alone I usually go to Ikea with my parents so wait it's going to be loud I'm sorry you guys, I just turned on my hair con, so it's going to be loud for a while. The reason why I want to go to Ikea is because I am in the middle of reorganizing and sort of decorating my room and I want to buy a lot of containers so that my room can look super organized. Is this too loud you guys? I don't know, but I am kind of hot. The weather is very very hot. I think I'm gonna go to Ikea. A little scared. I should not be scared, but it's a new experience. So, let's put my seatbelt on and go straight to Ikea. I did not find anything that I like in Ikea. What I'm looking for is actually something that is quite simple. I'm looking for transparent organizers. But I am a bit picky when it comes to which organizers I like. But not really, you know. Like, I know there are a lot of transparent organizers that are 
completely transparent not half transparent you know those half transparent organizers apparently ikea only has those half transparent organizers i'm looking for the acrylic ones as well and i actually found it online you know the one that i really like but i wanted to just visit ikea first ikea might have the organizer and it might have been cheaper so that's why i went here but i guess i'm just gonna buy them online so anyway it is 4 p.m right now so i am going to go home hello liam <laughs> you guys hi liam oh oh someone's coming too can i touch baby liam Oh, mama. <laughs> Hello everyone, it is Monday and it is currently 11.30 a.m. right now and um, I'm not loving my outfit right now. I don't know, I feel like I look a little bit funny. I guess it's fine. I don't know if I should remove the vest or not or maybe just unbutton it like this no i don't know oh well <laughs> i think it's fine should i maybe move here the lighting is not very good there okay so i bought um the organizer online i only bought one because who knew that organizers are super expensive i thought it's not going to be this expensive but apparently it is very expensive but this is exactly the kind of organizer that i'm looking for so i have this this is the kind of organizer that I am looking for. It is 100% transparent and it is acrylic. Other than this transparent organizer one, I'm also looking for like a white basket to put my stuff because I want to put some of my stuff in this transparent box and I want to put some in a white basket. I guess some that I don't feel like putting in a transparent box, I want to put it in a white basket. But I'm gonna have to buy it um, slowly one by one because it is quite expensive. So I guess I'm going to put all of my glam purses, I guess, into this organizer because that is my plan for this one. god look at this beauty isn't this stunning it looks a lot more stunning in real life i don't think the camera did the purse justice because it is so stunning and by the way um these two pink ones are mine and the gold and the white one are my mom's okay so this is the situation in my back shelves as you can see it is really really messy so yeah i'm going to put the box maybe here i'm planning to put it in the middle because it is the prettiest bag that i have yeah that's what i'm going to do now okay so i kind of want to reorganize this shelf a little bit at first my plan was to put all of my big bags in the top shelf and then all of my small bags here but now that i look at it i think i'm going to put all of my pretty bags up here i 
think that will look cute okay so this is how the shelf is looking right now and i honestly really love it i think it looks really pretty okay please ignore the bottom shelf let's just see the top shelf isn't that so pretty and they all are in the same color palette as well so it makes everything looks a lot more organized it is currently 12 30 pm right now and my class will start at 1 p.m and i haven't turned on my laptop at all so i need to get ready after this but let me just put all of the photos first into this photo album loving printing my photos and cutting them especially the cutting part it is so satisfying and i love doing it so much and by the way um that photo album is my 2021 photo album and i am planning on making like photo albums of every year but i'm going to start with 2021 first since it was just last year and the reason why i have been printing all of my photos is because uh, i am very much traumatized i have been losing my photos digitally like quite a few times like i back up my photos from my phone into my laptop but i don't back it up again you know so once it's in my laptop i just don't back it up again and my laptop's hard disk um is broken now and i literally have my photos from high school until like the beginning of 2020 so i don't have any more backups of my photos from high school until the beginning of 2020 i only had it in this laptop and my hard disk happened to be broken and so now i've lost all of my photos from high school until the beginning of 2020 and seven years of photos just gone like that i've come to a realization that it's just not safe to put my photos like literally all of my photos digitally and also looking back i feel like the feeling of looking back with a photo album and digitally are different it feels a lot more i don't know it has a different vibe and i like it more when i look back from like a photo album with printed photos so that's why i decided to print all of my photos and i have a lot of photos so um it's going to be a while until i'm completely done just with my 2021 album and for okay for the rest of the albums i don't have all of my 2020 photos obviously since they are all in my hard disk and my hard disk is broken and i don't know where i can repair it but i have majority of 2020 um, I have my 2020 photos during quarantine. I also have a little bit of like my 2019 photos, 2018 photos from my camera and also just from other people's phones, like my mom's phones. I literally um, sent every photos of me in my mom's phone. And yeah, I, I still have a little bit, but I don't have like my own photos. And I'm just really bummed by that because photos are so valuable to me. I'm quite a sentimental person. So I'm still sad that I lost all of my photos. Anyway, so that is the reason and okay it is currently what time is it it is almost one i think and my class will start soon so i will see you guys again tomorrow
is currently 11 41 pm and my class is done yesterday i spent the whole day packing and doing my assignments i am actually almost done packing i just need to pack my toiletries my skincare and also my makeup oh some of my accessories too um i have put them on my table i just need to put all of those accessories to a pouch or something i think i forgot to mention that tomorrow i will be going to meden so i am going back to meden again and um i actually just went to Medan at the end of January this year and I didn't expect to come back to Medan again this soon but I am excited to go back and the reason why I'm going back is because my uncle is having a wedding so my mom and I will go to Medan tomorrow and we'll stay in Medan for a week so um yeah I should get this done now I just remembered that I planned on cleaning all of my makeup sponges and makeup brushes so I guess that's what I'm going to do now I was about to edit and then I just remembered that wait I am planning to clean all of my makeup brushes today yeah that's what I'm gonna do now I'm gonna take all of my makeup brushes and um and clean them okay i am going into the guest room right now because this room literally has the best lighting so um my sink is kind of clogged i think and since i'm going to be filming this it's really not going to be cute since my sink is a little clogged and also oh you have to see the lighting in the guest room's bathroom because the lighting look at this it is so good it is literally so good because there is this um window right here so i'm getting all of the natural light look at this it's better to just do it here <laughs> Okay, so we are at Udon and what I ordered was beef agura udon. My brother is having beef curry udon. I'm going to pour this crispy thing into the bowl. Oh no, are you making awkward? Oh god. 
Anyway, so I'm going to enjoy my lunch now and then I'll get back to you guys again. <laughs> 